Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have a challenging 1970 math problem, okay? This is a problem from 1970, and we're given this circle here with two chords. The chords intersect each other at a right angle, being perpendicular, and we have values of 2 and 6, 3, and we don't know what the other part of that length is right there. And we're given, well, we need to find the radius. That's the goal here. One thing we know about chords is that we have the intersecting chords theorem. And that tells us with two chords that intersect that xy is equal to wz. So what does that tell us here? Well, let's call this missing space here x. Let's call this one here is equal to our y. Right here we have our w and the 6 being the z here. Okay, so what that's telling us is that x times y is equal to w times z when we have two chords in a circle that intersect. And this broken up into the parts there. So we have x times 3 here is equal to w being 2 times a z value of 6. And we're going to use this to find x here. Well, easily, 3x here equals to 2 times 6 gives me that 12. Divide 3 to both sides and x equals 4, okay? So we have a value of 4 here. Well, that helps us get that value, that number right here, that length, but what is the radius? And there's actually a really cool formula here, which I'm gonna prove in my next video. I'll put the link in the description as well at the end of this video. And that equation here, there's a proof for it, is 4r squared is equal to, when we have our chords, our x squared plus y squared plus w squared plus z squared. And that's a pretty cool uh, formula to come up with and prove. All right, so make sure you check that out again. So with this information, we need to plug in what we know and simplify, right? Four times the radius squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, w squared, and z squared. So 4r squared is equal to, well, x being four here, squared plus y squared, so 3 squared, plus w squared, which is a 2, 2 squared, and z squared as a 6 squared. So then we have 4r squared here is equal to 4 squared, 16, plus 3 squared, 9, plus 2 squared, 4, plus 6 squared, 36. We add all them up when we have 4r squared is equal to, well, 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 36 is a good old 65. Divide both sides by 4, and we have r squared is equal to 65 over 4. We take the square root of both sides, and r is now by itself plus or minus, but we don't really care about the negative, the square root of 65 over 4, which, well, simplifies to be the square root of 65 over 2. And that simplifies, or as a, a decimal if you care for that, approximately a 4.031. So there we have it. The answer to this problem, pretty simple once we know this key formula here, is the radius here is a square root of 65 over 2. Now make sure you check our next video where we prove this equation and how we get that. I hope you liked this video, and don't forget to subscribe and actually like the video. That helps us make more of these fun math videos for you. And if you're watching this on Instagram, on Facebook, make sure you check out our YouTube channel as well, because we actually get paid for the ad revenue on those videos. So, as always, thanks for watching.